So this looks a little different than the typical vlog. Okay, so I'll start about a year ago. Jesse, my husband, was working a great job. I had a steady income as well. We were living life. It was easy, it was comfortable, but we kind of felt like God was saying, hey, I want you to pick up everything and move to South Carolina. Um, so after praying about it and talking it through, we ended up, us and four of our greatest friends, moved to South Carolina to be a part of a church plant. Needless to say, life got a little bit crazier than it already was. Um, but I remember before we moved, I was sitting in my apartment, there was no furniture, boxes everywhere, and I remember seeing tickets become available for the Nest Fest. And I was thinking, I don't know where I'm living, I don't know what's gonna be happening, but I'm going to the Nest Fest in 2016. I remember booking tickets, not even thinking about it. So the Nest Fest rolls around, I think October, and we were living in our friend's apartment, um, life was ridiculous. We were working weird hours at jobs and it was just crazy. You know, after you move, it gets ridiculous. And I remember the weekend came for the Nest Fest. I jumped in the car with my mom. She drove up from Florida. We met our aunt and we drove to the Nest Fest. I remember getting there and being so excited. This was it. I was forgetting about what was happening at home. I was here. I was ready to invest and I was so excited. We got there. I was overwhelmed by how awesome and cool and creative it was. It was exciting because during that time, I was thinking about starting my own clothing company. I didn't really have the confidence to do it. I wasn't sure if I had the guts or creativity or just could pull this off. We were walking around the grounds of the Nest Fest and I remember seeing all these creative people. They were young, old, educated, not educated, and they were living out their passion. They were, you know, crafting, they were making things. They were selling their goods. And whether they had a side job or not, they were there. They had set their sights on going and they were a part of the Nest Fest. And I remember thinking, looking into their eyes, seeing their booths and thinking, I can do this. I can start my own clothing company. These people did it, they're inspiring me. So we walked around, I bought some stuff, of course, because they had amazing things. I was so excited the entire day. I was inspired, I was, the wheels were turning in my mind and I was ready to do this. So the whole drive home, we were talking about what would it look like if I started a clothing company, could I do it? What would that look like financially? How do we get this done? How do I accomplish this goal? So, got home, talked to Jesse, and Local Clothing Co. was born. I remember thinking one of my goals would be to get in the next Nest Fest. So I wasn't even sure if they were gonna ever have it again, but I just looked on her blog the other day and they're having it this year in October. So this whole year I've been working um, at a job that I haven't super enjoyed, but I've been trying to make some money. I've been working on our other business. I've been also been working on Local Clothing Co. Just doing all the things to accomplish dreams and goals. And now I have my sights set on getting in the Nest Fest. I would love to be a part of that. I think that would just be a dream come true to be able to see a year from when I went last time that I'm here, I made it. And so Michaelin, if you're seeing this, which I hope you are, um, I would love to be a part of the Nest Fest. It would be a dream come true. I adore your work and the community that you have created, and I would love to be a part of that. For the rest of you watching, thank you so much for your time. I hope you understand my desire to go. If you want to, um, you know, hashtag the Nest Fest or let the Nester know that I would love to be there, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much.